Welcome to Put Talk with Chill. Today's recipe is a savory snack called potato pinbis. Very similar to our Indian samosas, but made in a different way. And the best part, you can make these ahead in time, toast it slightly, and then freeze it. And then whenever you're ready to prepare, all you need to do is fry them. So let's see how to make these tasty potato pinbis. The first step to making these pinwheels is to make your dough. So to make a tight dough using maida or all-purpose flour, I've taken one cup of maida. Into this, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoon of oil. Just mix this in nicely. The texture should resemble like breadcrumbs. I've taken quarter cup of water. But we may not need the entire water, so I add half of it first and slowly add little by little. Once you have a clean bowl and a clean hand, let's leave this covered for 15 minutes till we prepare the filling. For the filling, we have taken three medium-sized potatoes, boiled and mashed. And into this, we're going to add all our seasoning. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, half a teaspoon of amchur powder or dry mango powder, half a teaspoon of chaat masala, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, quarter teaspoon of coriander powder, and salt to taste. I'm adding about half a teaspoon. A few chopped coriander leaves. Mix this all nicely till it's well combined. Let's just taste it and see if it has enough salt. Hmm. Even if it's slightly high in salt, it's fine because after frying, it'll all come out perfectly. Let's now roll our dough into a rectangular shape, about quarter inch thick. Let's spread our potato filling evenly on the dough. Just leave a little gap on all edges. Once you've filled it with the stuffing, roll it into a tight log. I prefer always starting from the shorter edge. Just press it nicely and roll it a couple of times so that the whole thing is even. Let's now cut it into about half an inch thickness. If it's opening up slightly, don't worry, we'll fix it up before we fry. Next step is to take each of it and Slightly press it between your palms. If you wish to freeze these pinwheels and fry it later, then the best way to do it is to lightly toast it on either side so that it's partially cooked and then you can freeze it separated with layers of baking paper or foil. Whenever you're ready to fry it, you just take it out of the freezer and fry it directly. We have another Team Thursday recipe featuring chocolate coming up. Any guesses what we're going to make next? 